Hi everyone, and welcome to my June 2021 Sister Wives update. Let's see what Mary, Christine, Janelle, Robin, and Cody are up to this month. So this month, Mary spent more time than usual away from the drama in Flagstaff. She's been in Utah a lot, managing her bed and breakfast, and get this, Mary's best friend, Jen, I believe temporarily moved from Oregon to Mary's bed and breakfast to help her manage things right now. Guys, Jen is a dedicated friend. On a recent Fridays with Friends Instagram Live, Mary made it clear that she is still very much part of her family and hasn't left, you know, because people keep wondering about that. And um, especially after Cody's comments last season and the world's worst anniversary date. I'll put the recap of that episode in the description. Jen and Mary also confirmed that they don't drink during their lives. And I'm shook. I mean, totally thought they had wine in, in their tumblers based on all the giggling, goofy comments, just etc. And of course, Mary wouldn't be Mary without posting self-reflective quotes on her Instagram that I personally feel are directed at Cody. This one said, Today I accept that for some people I may be too much or too little, but for the people who deserve me, I am just right. You go, Mary. Alright, so speaking of Utah, Christine made a beeline to see her kids in Utah this month. They went to see the amazing play Les Miserables and also went to breakfast to celebrate Aspen and Mitch's wedding anniversary. It seems like they just got married like yesterday, right? Fun fact, McKelty and her husband Tony Padron just moved to Lehigh, Utah. Yes, that Lehigh, Utah where the show first began filming and the last place the wives lived under one roof. Under this image of their family, McKelty wrote, Tony and I recently made the move back to Lehigh, Utah, one of the many towns I grew up in. It's grown so much and there are so many new things to do and try. We're way excited to continue this adventure as a family. I mean, it really does seem like Christine is spending a lot more time in Utah. So even if she didn't officially move there, because you'll remember the other wives had no interest in moving there, it's not stopping her from going there all the time. I feel like she's going there more and more and more. Christine's daughter, Isabel, also graduated high school this month and turned 18. Cody made a rare appearance and he and Christine both attended her graduation and they all look so happy in this picture. In the caption, Isabel said, Goodbye, no more high school drama. Now we will begin college drama. No word on where Isabel will be going to college. One interesting thing about this picture though, why is Cody on his tippy toes? Is he worried about looking short in this picture? Maybe it's because Isabel and Christine are wearing heels and he's worried. Like, I, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> now let's go to Janelle. First of all, it looks like Janelle lost weight, all thanks to this red drink she's been promoting with Maddie. I can't tell if the big difference between pictures is mostly because it's less close up or because she's actually lost weight, but I mean, she looks great. She's beautiful. For Father's Day, Janelle shared a really special picture of her and her parents when she was very young and she shared information I had no clue about. She said, My father passed away from illness when I was three, so I have very few photos of him. This is one that has recently come my way. When I was a few years older, a man who was willing to shoulder the responsibility of my mom, my sister and I stepped up and my mom remarried. Happy Father's Day to all the different kinds of dads. Janelle's son Garrison, who we knew from last season works in construction, completely renovated a van and could be living in it. I mean, I'm not sure, but this caption says, living in a van down by the river. So, I mean, it's possible. Either way, the van looks amazing and I love the dark color scheme. Which brings me to my final point. All right, so let's talk about Robin. 
I mean, Robin is still staying off social media, probably because people are so mean to her on there. I saw this article recently, and it made me think like, yeah, why is she really getting criticized so harshly? In the end, it's not really Robin's fault that Cody favors her, I mean, and the whole nickname, Sobbin Robin, I think she may just be one of those people that cry easily. I actually fall into that category. I just cried at a commercial today. <laughs> and many of the problems that looked like they started when Robin started the show or joined the show, I think they were present like way before her. We just couldn't see it because cameras weren't following them at that point. And at the beginning, I feel like they were kind of trying to portray like everything was perfect, you know, like it's usually like that at the beginning of reality shows. People, they're not used to the cameras, so they just, they don't want to reveal their problems. There's such a big difference between the first episode of Sister Wives and like what we saw last season. It's crazy. So let me know in the comments what you think about Robin and whether or not you think she deserves this much criticism from fans online. Let me know. And um, all right, guys, thanks so much for watching this video the whole way through. I really appreciate it. If you like this video, please give it a like. And if you like my content, please subscribe for more Sister Wives content. Thanks, guys. Bye.